Hey, this is the first video ever I've done about a PTZ camera. P means pan horizontally, tilt vertically, and then Z for zoom in to increase the quality of your subject, which you're going to film. PTZ cameras can be used, yes, for filming, of course, but also for video conferencing. And I'm going to show you here with the Uling UVC86 how it works in a webcam mode, but also in a Microsoft Teams room setting. We'll go to the different settings. We'll go to the different management options like the USB connect from Yealing, the Microsoft Teams admin center, and also the Yealing management cloud service. I will show you how the Microsoft Teams app for PDZ works, and you will get a lot of information and insights how it works in small rooms and also in larger meeting rooms. Stay tuned. Okay, let's have a short look into the key features and benefits of the Yeeling UVC86, which is a dual eye uh, 4K camera for intelligent tracking, which means you can track speaker, you can track the presenter, but it also provides auto framing. And the idea is it really shows everybody who has got an active speaker role. It offers 12 times optical zoom and 90 degrees wide field of view. That's an audio integration, which supports the microphones and speakerphones from Yealing. So you are not able to connect your own microphones on the three and a half millimeter jack. And the multiple installation options and mounting kits available. You can put it on the wall, on a ceiling, on a desk, on a tripod. So a lot of flexibility here. It's secure because it has got a cap. It also provides a Kensington lock. The package includes the camera, a remote control, a power adapter, a wall bracket, and accessoires, and a 7 meter USB cable. The camera has got a Sony sensor, 8 megapixels, and there are 9 camera presets available. On the connection side, one USB 3.0 IP port, one USB 2.0 USB 8 port, and then the ports for the E Link BCH ports. You can also add a power port, a security sensing slot, a reset slot. There's also an HDMI output port. Okay, lots of features, lots of benefits, but now we would like to get into the real use case. I'm going to test them inside of furniture, store, house, presenter tracking, speaker tracking, auto framing. Let's see how it works. Now we're going to check out how it looks when we have two people framed. It's going to pick up now the speaker. And uh, now we have a look if it picks up also the other speaker. Uh, yeah, you can see that it turns and now I'm on focus. Excellent. And I'm, on, I'm going to pick now the talk and the conversation. I'm leading the conversation right now and it's picking myself up. I'm now going to move inside of the room and see if it's going to find me when I'm still leading the conversation. And that works fine. And now you're going to pick up the conversation. Changing the conversation. Let's have a look if it turns another time. Awesome, you can see. More or less smooth turn. Okay, so speaker tracking works fine. In our measurements, it's between two or three seconds to change everything. I'm going to move a little bit around and see how the speaker tracking works when I'm really on another side of the room if it's still able to find me when I'm far away from the table. I'm now very far away from the table, coming closer and walking directly to the table. And now I should be on this other side of the table where it's going to track me. My last thing is I'm going to take this chair, which is the closest chair next to the camera, to show how it looks like when I'm very close to the camera. Here I am. Now I'm sitting currently directly in front of the PDZ camera from Yealing, connected with the USB A cable. No NDI needed, no LAN cable needed, just pure USB connection. We're going to look deeper how the Yealing camera can be managed. First, Yealing USB Connect, then the Yealing Management Cloud Service, and last but not least, Microsoft Teams Admin Center. I'm here in the Yealing USB Connect. 
On the left hand side, I could change the device status and see my firmware and serial number. I'm currently not going to show. But here in the settings, you can activate noise shielding, invert mode, camera pan direction, detect the number of faces, which is always nice for capacity planning and COVID related hygiene topics. I can calibrate a lens uh, and correct my lenses. Also, auto tracking can be enabled. Currently, I'm going to disable it because I will show you in my next exercise how I'm using the PTZ app instead of Microsoft Teams. And then auto tracking needs to be disabled. Here, I can move around. With my cursor that's something which is always very handy i can also use my remote control for it here we are that's the remote control but right here different yeah PZ functions and also the presets and the volume and there's also a mute button the presets is are useful so just imagine i would like this position here and i'm going to create a new preset immediately that's my number one preset Let's see, uh, I'm going to make a new preset. Moving closer to my face. Let's get here. I'm going to save it as. Here we are, and I can move around with my remote control and change the presets immediately. In image settings, I can change the exposure mode, flicker. Um, white balance mode, auto, display mode, high definition. I can change the saturation more. I think currently around 50, that looks perfect. I can also change the sharpness and the 2D noise reduction level. I can update my device and I also can go and contact customers. Here we are in the Yearling Management Cloud Service for Enterprises. That's my home site, my dashboard. Here I can choose to go on my site. And there's also another entry point of directly going to the devices. I'm using the Yealing camera as a USB device. Where I can do things like, for example, update the firmware or update the USB connect software, update resources, and much more things around the configuration. Here I've got different templates which I can choose to update the configuration. And if I go into the settings, then I can add the device to different sites. And if I click here on more, this is the way how to search for devices, filter devices, and also depending here on reports. If I go into the room system, then I'm using the same device, but here on my Lenovo Think Smart Hub. I can also change the site settings, update configuration, update firmware, update resource files, and things like DD. I can reboot it and send a message to the device or reset it to factory. Here are more options for firmware management, software management, resource management, account management, device configuration, site management, task management, alarm management, diagnostics, order management, and much more. So, this is a very rich, new, up to date, cloud based device management solution from Yealing. Here in my Teams Admin Center, you can see that I've got a meeting room, an MTR on Teams rooms on Windows, not on Android. Here I've got more details about my camera. Here you can see the Yealing UVC camera is fully supported and certified for Microsoft Teams rooms. I can go deeper and see that everything runs fine. It's green and connected. So that's how it should look like. Here in Microsoft Teams rooms, I can go to the controls and can control my camera. So that means here, ETZ, everything what I can do, also reset, change the zoom level, more, less. I can also go and check the status here, model name, firmware, and hardware. Tracking mode can be set off, auto framing, speaker, or presenter tracking can be chosen and selected, as well as brightness can be modified. Now I'm going to show you how to add the PTZ camera control app to an existing Microsoft Teams meeting. Here the meeting is already defined. My meeting room is invited, so I just click here on join. Now I'm going to add the camera controls here directly to the meeting. And I can choose the meeting room right here. And that's the way how I can zoom in, zoom out, and all the fancy stuff. 
yeah, that's how it works. I'm controlling now my PDZ camera, which is in my meeting room. So it can be just a few rooms away. So just imagine you would be on your desk and you would like to remote control your meeting room camera. That's possible using the Microsoft Teams app called PTZ Camera. Hope you found this video useful. If yes, please also give a like and consider to subscribe. And thanks for watching.